Okay, DNA fingerprinting. So what is DNA fingerprinting? So just like our fingerprints, we have we each have a unique DNA fingerprint. Like here in this little picture, we have our fingerprint from our finger, and then this is a DNA fingerprint. So DNA fingerprinting is used by forensic scientists to determine whose DNA is found at a crime scene. So they're trying to figure out whose DNA it belongs to. So if they find blood or a hair sample um, of the suspect, then they can determine, use it to determine who committed the crime. Um, other uses for DNA fingerprinting um, are paternity, te paternity tests. Other uses for DNA fingerprinting are paternity tests and diagnosing inherited disorders. Unique DNA. Every cell in our body has the same DNA. Each person has a different sequence or order to their base pairs. We can cut DNA into pieces or fragments of different sizes. So for example, our small, medium, or large size fragments of DNA. So in this image there's three smaller fragments of DNA, three medium, and three large fragments of DNA. Um, so when we cut DNA, a DNA sample, each person will have a different number of pieces of each size. So for example, I would have a different number of small fragments than, say, you or someone else. So here's another example of some DNA fragments. So in this example, there's only two small ones, um, three medium fragments, and then one larger fragment of DNA. So this would be from a different person. So how do you do it? How do we do DNA fingerprinting? So first, we have to cut the DNA. So a restriction enzyme, um, they're the scissors that cut DNA into fabric, into the, restriction enzymes are the scissors that cut DNA into fragments. These enzymes only cut a certain place on the DNA. So there's one particular place in the strand of DNA that they will cut. Sometimes they'll be two different places if they see the similar cutting site or restriction site. For example, in this strand of DNA here, if the restriction site or the cutting site is GAATC, GAATTC, then the enzyme will travel along the DNA strand and until it finds that site and it will cut it like this. Because the base pair sequence of DNA repeats, there can be several more cuts made in the strand. Second, we separate the DNA. So DNA is separated through a process called electrophoresis. Electrophoresis means carry with electricity. So the DNA fragments are negatively charged. An electric current carries the DNA fragments across an agarose gel from the negative side, here on this little sample, to the positive side. 